This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 1, 2, Problem Number 22. Rude wrote each of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in one of the circles so that the sum of the numbers in the row is equal to the sum of the numbers in the column. What could be written in the circle with the question mark? A, only 5. B, 2, 3, or 4. C, only 3. D, only 1 or 3. Or E, 1, 3, or 5. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. So to start, a very important part of the problem, which I have rewritten down here, is that the sum of the numbers in the row is equal to the sum of the numbers in the column. So that's key to this problem, and let's move forward using that. So if we add the sum of the numbers in the row, so that's this number, this number, and this number, plus the sum of the numbers in the column, so that's this number, this number, and this number, we're adding together six numbers, right? We have one, we have the five numbers that you know we're placing, and we, we're adding the question mark number twice. So our total sum is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus, again, that question mark. And what do we know about this sum? Well, the sum must be even because we're adding the same sum twice. Again, the sum of the numbers in the row is equal to the sum of the numbers in the column. So our total sum, this total sum, is equal to the same sum added twice, which is the same as multiplying that sum by 2. So we have an even sum. So again, this is our sum, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus our question mark must be an even number. So if we add together 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, we'll have 15 plus question mark is an even number. Now what do we know? Well, 15 is an odd number. So we need to add an odd number to 15 in order to get an even sum. So that means that the question mark is an odd number. And out of our numbers over here, oops, out of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which ones are odd? Well, you know that 1, 3, and 5 are odd. So those are the numbers that could be the question mark. But let's, you know, fill in a diagram for each option just to double check that this does in fact work. So for our first one, let's pretend that the question mark is equal to 1. So if we put 1 here in the center, then just one, one possible configuration could be 1 in the center, and then we could have 2 and 5 on the row, and 3 and 4 on the column. And as you could see, you would have a common sum of 8 for the row and the column. Now for our second one, let's say the question mark is equal to 3. So when you put 3 in the center, oops, then we can do, let's say, 1, 5, 2, 4. And again, we have the same common sum for the row and the column. And then for our last one, let's say the question mark is equal to 5. So we have 5 in the center. Then we could, for example, have 1, 4, 2, 3. And as you can see, it works for 1, 3, and 5. We have answer choice E. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.